Mets. What do you think of starting this year? I'm really excited. Um, you know, bigger, bigger role. And just, you know, ha bigger task at hand this season, but I'm really excited to get the guys, you know, going and, you know, excited to get into these games, excited for the season, excited for, you know, all the team success and just ready to go. Coach said that uh, he worries a little about players thinking too far ahead to the NBA and also maybe too far behind of we made the Final Four and all that excitement um, and he's going to try to keep you guys in the present. Uh, can you just talk about that? Where do you think, where's your mind and where do you think your teammates' minds are when he, what, what would make him say that, that he thinks maybe players are thinking too far into the future? Uh, my mindset is really just like having a one and no mentality each game uh, we play this season. Uh, we know, I know, you know, what it kind of takes to get there, but, you know, for the new guys, it's going to be a little adjustment for them. But I'm just trying to, you know, be a good leader and, you know, try to get them to get on board with where I am at. And, you know, just we know how each game means to us, non-conference, ACC, every game matters. So just trying to have a one and no mindset, really. And, you know, looking forward to that future until March comes. Um, you mentioned the younger guys. Can you talk about the freshmen? Because obviously, we know sort of the starting five. We've seen them before, including, you know, Matthew Cleveland. The, the new guys, do you see them being up to step in right away and having a big role, or more it's going to be by the end of the season they'll be ready? I mean, you know, guys, you know, the guys, you know those guys pretty well by now, obviously. Uh, yeah, I do. The freshmen have been really well. Uh, Keyshawn George has really impressed. You know, with his game, you know, he's so tall, his, his ability to shoot, and, you know, he could play multiple positions on the floor. So, you know, he's going to be a really big key factor. And then Mike Nowoko off the bench, you know, 6'10", he's a really strong, he has really good touch around the rim, really athletic. And, you know, just getting them on board with the speed of the basketball game, you know, it's new coming into, you know, they're coming out of high school and Keyshawn playing in France. so. Just playing, you know, new style and figuring out our style of offense and defense and just getting them on board with what we do here. Talking about Keyshawn, uh, he had mentioned, you know, that he's, he was playing against grown men, like 30, 40, he said some guys had kids and everything. <laughs> um, how do you think that helped him? When he first signed, I remember Coach saying way back, you know, whenever that was in the summer that, well, we have to see how he adjusts to the college game and this, all that stuff. But it seems like because of that experience of playing with those older guys in a you know pro semi pro type situation, uh, that he looked very comfortable the other day in the exhibition game. Um, how, how do you see him? Did he surprise you at how quickly he's been able to blend in? Not really. I mean, I feel like Keyshawn playing against those older men, you know, at such a young age, kind of prepared him for this college level. I think the only adjustment will be the speed of the game and how fast you know teams go and we run. But I think he'll pick it up quickly. You know, he's a quick learner. He's been doing really well in practice, going against, you know, the starters or the bench. And I feel like a big season is upcoming for him. You know, he's really a special talent. Again, 6'8", he could do a lot of things on the floor. And I'm very excited to be his teammate and play with him this so year. Coach Lunaga talked, as Michelle said about talk, he's going to give a talk, I guess, about living in the present. Or, and he gives talks a lot, right, on, on anything could jump to mind. Of, any uh, themes or things you said that uh, stick with you? Part of that, but I think one of the biggest thing of Coach Ells is saying is how he says it's a marathon, not it's a it's a marathon, not a sprint, and you know just basically trying to not look forward into that future wise right now, taking game each game, you know, day in, day out, playing hard, competing at the highest level. Uh, the ACC, in my opinion, is one of the toughest conferences to play in. So you know those when that time comes around, we have to just be prepared, but we have to take care of business with the long conference and just, again, having that one and no mentality every single game. Ben's like Coach all talked a lot about how you've grown as a vocal leader for this team next to Nigel throughout the offseason and going into the exhibition game as well. How have you been able to carry what you've learned from past leaders on this team in prior years as the team's been the Elite Eight, the Final Four, and carry that into this year to, to teach a lot of the younger guys about what it takes to compete in this level? Uh, everything really from the older guys I've played with, you know, every message, just little details that I'd see them do and just trying to embrace it into what I'm doing into the younger guys and just trying to help this team, you know, reach as many team goals as we can this season. What's your message for the younger guys usually in practice? 
Uh, you know, just, you know, when times get frustrating, just keep pushing through. You know, they're young, so it's not like, you know, they're able to get the game right away. You know, it's an adjustment. It takes time. So I just keep telling them, you know, just keep getting better. You know, don't get too frustrated at the things you can't control. Try to control the things you can't control. And I think, you know, they've handled it really well, and, you know, they're very vastly improving quickly. What's sort of that? I didn't look at it yet. I'm going to, though. <laughs> yeah, uh, I haven't looked at it yet, but I will, for sure. Anything else? I want to ask about uh, Matt Cleveland. What what has he brought? You know, I know that he's played in the ACC with, with FSU. I'm sure that helps. Um, but how do you see him? What do you see his role being? Uh, I think Matt's going to be a key piece to our team. You know, he's very special talent. And having the the experience of playing in the ACC, he kind of knows what to expect from each team night in, night out. So I'm excited for his, you know, his growth. You know, his, his game is very, you know, he could play one through four, and he's able to push the basketball on rebounds. And he just brings a lot of different, you know, excitements to our team in the game of basketball. So I'm very excited for his, you know, his role in his game, you know, he's really a talented player, and I'm excited for him to be, you know, Miami Hurricane. Thank you, Bentley. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. I'll see you on Monday. Yep.